Sheikha Mahra is the most beautiful daughter of Dubai's ruler, Sheikh Muhammad Al Mahdoum. For many years, she was the dream wife of many Arab cheeks. However, in 2023, she married her cousin, Sheikh Mana. The wedding between Sheikh Mahra and Sheikh Mana Al Mahdoum was a lavish affair held at the World Trade Center in Dubai. The couple always seemed in love in public and they had a beautiful daughter. However, days ago, Sheikha Mahra shocked everyone by announcing her divorce in Instagram post. The divorce announcement has sparked whispered discussion and speculation. So what exactly happened between them? What is the real reason behind their sudden divorce? And what did she do after the divorce will surprise you. Watch the full video to find out and don't forget to like the video, subscribe to the channel and hit the bell icon to get notified as I upload the new video. So Sheikha Mahra, the daughter of Sheikh Muhammad Al Mahdoum, who is the ruler of Dubai. He's also the vice president, prime minister and minister of defense of UAE and he is one of the most wealthy and powerful people in the world. He has an estimated fortune of 15 billion. Sheikh Muhammad Al Mahdoum has a large family and has numerous children from multiple marriages and is the father of at least 30 children from different women. While the exact number is not publicly disclosed, however, few of his children led a public lives. Sheikh Mahra is one of those who is known for her unique style, blending Arabian modesty with European elegance. Unlike many women in United Arab Emirates, she doesn't wear a hijab and she is often seen in bright, colorful clothes. This is most likely influenced by her mother Zoe Krakorakis, who is of Greek origin. It is only known that Sheikha Mahra parents, Zoe and Sheikh Muhammad Al Mahdoum, they got married in 1993 but their marriage was short lived. Sheikh Muhammad allocated Zoe $19 million with which she bought a house in London, where she lived with her daughter until Mahra's adulthood. Since 2009, Sheikha Mahra has been living in Dubai. Despite her father being a very strict man, she has been granted more freedom than any of his other children. She often attends public events and enjoy being seen. Newspaper and magazines frequently write about her and she has a popular Instagram blog where she shares her photos. Sheikha Mahra has a large fan base due to her beauty. In 2020, she was included in the top 10 most beautiful Muslim women in the world. For many years, wealthy Arab men dreamed of marrying her, but those dreams faded away in 2023 when her father found her a suitable match, Sheikh Mana Al Mahdoum, who is her cousin. Sheikh Mana is the son of Sheikh Mohammed bin Rashid. He is a member of ruling family of Dubai. He is a successful entrepreneur, owning some of the large trading technology and development companies operating both within the Emirates and internationally. Beside his successful and diverse portfolio, Sheikh Mana appeared to be adventurous. As seen as on Instagram profile, he and Mahra seem to have a lot in common. They are both young, very attractive and have active social lives and share a love for animals and equestrian sport. The couple announced their engagement in March 2023 and in April they held a ceremony to sign their marriage contract according to the Muslim custom. Following this, they had a lavish wedding reception in Dubai in June 2023. Sheikha Mahra fathers ensured her wedding would be remembered for years to come. The celebration was held at the World Trade Center in Dubai. The bride wore a Greek-inspired gown with an open neckline. She gracefully left her hair down and complemented the hairstyle with the embroidered tone. For jewelry, she wore a diamond bracelet, diamond ring, and diamond watch which added a touch of glamour. Mahras looked like a real queen in front of her husband who appeared at the ceremony in the traditional Arabian attire. Right after the wedding, the royal couple jetted off to the Greek island for their honeymoon. A series of photos from their romantic gateway showcased them strolling through the streets and having fun on the jet ski ride. Five months after their wedding, the couple announced that they were expecting a baby. Sheikha Mahra shared a mammogram picture on the Instagram captioning the sweet snap of 
just the three of us. The couple welcomed their daughter in the May 2024, naming her Sheha Mahra bint Mana bin Muhammad Al Mahdoum, like her mother. Sheha Mahra expressed her happiness about becoming a mother, calling it her most unforgettable experience. Photos also showed Sheikh Mana gently holding their newborn daughter. Everyone saw them as a perfect couple who seemingly loved each other. However, just two months after the birth of their daughter, Sheha Mahra shocked the world by announcing her divorce from her husband on Instagram. She wrote, Dear husband, as you are occupied with other companies, I hereby declare our divorce. I divorce you, I divorce you, and I divorce you. Take care, your ex-wife. In repeating the phrases, I divorce you three times. Sheha Mahra used a controversial Islamic divorce method typically reserved for men. This method allow instant divorce by saying, I divorce you three times without needing a reason or wife's agreement. Mahra not only announced her divorce on Instagram but also deleted all photos with Sheikh Mana and unfollowed him. He did the same on his account. This sudden action surprised many people, leaving them curious about what might have caused such drastic decision. According to some rumors, Sheikh Mahra caught her husband cheating on her with another woman. Understandably, she was very angry. Some sources even claimed that he wanted to take that woman as his second wife, as Muslim men can have up to four wives at a time. But Sheikh Mahra couldn't tolerate the idea of sharing her husband and demanded a divorce immediately. The princess had sparked speculation over her troubled marriage over a month ago when she posted a picture of her daughter with the caption, just the two of us. Her divorce post gained a lot of support from the people all over the world who found it empowering for women of her status to make such a bold move. The princess post sent shockwave across the UAE with many claiming that the message must have been the result of Mahra account being hacked. However, since she just uploaded the post with her daughter, it's confirmed that the divorce post was indeed real. To all of your surprise, after announcing divorce, she also launched a brand called Divorce by Mahra. Mahra is not just the first of Sheikh Muhammad's daughters to express dissatisfaction with the life in Dubai. Two of her other half-sisters, Sheikh Latifa and Sheikh Shamsa, made a headline with their dramatic escape attempt. Pretty soon, I'm going to be leaving somehow. In 2000, Sheikha Shamsa, who was 18 years old at the time, ran away from her family's home in England. However, her freedom didn't last long. She was soon found and taken back to Dubai against her will. Emirati men captured her and forcibly returned to Dubai. After this incident, Shamsa reportedly lost all outside contacts and was heavily sedated. She hasn't been seen in public for over two decades. In 2002, Sheikh Latifa, at the age of 16, tried to flee to Oman but was caught at the border. In 2018, Sheikha Latifa attempted to escape by a boat. However, she was caught by authorities off the coast of India and taken back to Dubai against her will. Before her 2018 escape attempt, Latifa recorded videos describing her father as a major criminal and accusing him of imprisoning and torturing women who disobeyed him. I don't remember how exactly the fight started, but I just kept screaming that I wanted to go see Shamsa and I, I couldn't stop screaming. He's the most evil person I've ever met in my life. She claimed she had been jailed and tortured after her previous escape attempt. Both sisters allegedly faced severe consequences for their action. Shamsa was reportedly imprisoned and heavily medicated. Latifa claimed was beaten and kept in solitary confinements and tranquilized. On the other hand, Mahara's public divorce announcement via Instagram represent a different kind of rebellion. By openly challenging her husband and the traditional expectations of royal women, she has positioned herself as a courageous and outspoken figure. So if you were in her position, would you take a similar stand? Share your thoughts in the comments and that's it for today. If you enjoy the video and want more like it, be sure to leave the thumbs up. And if you haven't already subscribed, subscribe to my channel and click the bell icon so you get notified as I upload the new video every week. See you in next video. Thank you for watching Shadowstorm. Until next time, stay curious.